Hello Aquarius viewers, I'm going to look into your situation, uh, what your person is feeling, thinking, what action they might be taking towards you over the next two or three weeks or so. Just going to look in and just see what the story is and see where they're at right now. So let's move these cards. Alright, so for the Aquarius viewers that are drawn to this video, what is the story? What is the current story romantically? What is going on with your love life? What do we need to know? Clear and direct messages only, please. What is the story? What is the situation here with the Aquarius viewers? Interesting. This is good energy. Okay. Temperance, Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers. The Three of Cups, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like this could be about an ex. I want to see if there's a new person coming in, too, because I think you're kind of getting fed up with the ex. I don't know if you... I mean, I think there's love there, but I don't know if you want to keep doing this. Let me see... Um, actually, I'm going to pull from this deck. Can you give me a couple cards to clarify what happened here with the Three of Cups and the Ten of Swords? This almost feels like a tower moment to me. Like, you see how happy this card is, and it's like, oh shit, actually, everything's not as good as it seemed, you know? It's almost like this person is came, just came back around, or they're coming back around, but it's like a quick drop-off. I don't know if it's a good thing. But I'm going to look into, um, into other, uh, to see if there's another energy too, to see if maybe there's new love coming in also. So let's clarify this three of cups and ten of swords. Grove reminder. Yeah, it's almost like they just did something stupid or they're like on the verge of doing something stupid and you can feel it coming. Because with Grove and Reminder, it's like Grove is like retreating, kind of distancing yourself, resting, kind of isolating a little bit. See that cat in the garden? It's like it's peaceful, but the cat's alone. You know what I mean? The cat's like, it's like this person is like you've been reminded of something. You've been reminded of their past behavior. You've been reminded of why it didn't work out the first time around is kind of the energy I'm getting with this. I think you are trying to have a balance here with the temperance and the knight of pentacles it's like you kind of felt this person coming back around so for some of you they've, they've come back around like they recently came back for others i think they're about to come back and you can feel it um it just kind of depends on where you're at with the story that we have here but i think you you know with temperance and knight of pentacles it's like you're close to reaching completion when it comes to like college or um, career or finances, like saving money, meeting your goals, taking that next step when it comes to bettering yourself and bettering your life. And so you're really trying to have a balance because you don't want to let that person take that from you. You don't want to let them leave you with nothing again and leave you depressed. You know what I mean? Um, you know, you're trying to find that balance so you don't give them everything again like you have in the past. With the lovers, it's like... I feel them coming back, but it's almost like surface level. It's like they want you in the moment, but then it's like, it feels like they don't stick it out almost, you know? That's why I want to look and see if there's an, another energy around you that might be better for you. Because I don't know how I, I don't feel that great about this ex. I'm going to post a channeled song for you guys in the comment section below as well so check for that see the ten of swords here it's sort of rock bottom 
but it's also like a rebirth process it's also like the light that comes after the darkness it's See, I feel like this person either has or is about to come back around. And it's like they're, look, this is like assertive, romantic kind of sexy energy here. You see how he is with her? But it almost seems like he just wants to have, he or she just wants to have their cake and eat it too. Like they're just saying and doing the right things to get you back. And it's like you go into this brief period of celebration where you feel like things are good with this person where it's like you know, good time, celebration, you know, like this reconciliation that you're happy about and you're trying to keep things light, but then it's like they just show you their true colors again. There's some type of betrayal that I think you just went through with this person or maybe maybe it's just that um, they haven't really changed as much as they try to portray it as. Like they might come back and you might feel for a brief period of time that they've really changed things. And then it's like they just do something to kind of go back to just that same energy that you don't want to get stuck in again. You know what I mean? This is like pain and betrayal, but it's good because it's closure as well. So I think that this person, and if this is your story, you would probably know who this person is. You know, if this is your story, you should, you'd probably, you'd probably resonate with this energy a lot. With the Ten of Swords, it's kind of like, I feel like they're coming back to give you closure. It's like they come back around just so that you can see that it was always going to be the same crap with them, that it was never really going to get better, that it was all, that they're always going to put you through the same things. No matter how many years you wait or how many months you wait, it's, it's, they're still the same person. You know what I mean? It's almost like you didn't have closure before, and so they're kind of coming back around. It's like this harsh lesson where they come back around, but it, it ends up giving you this closure. Um, I don't think that you want this anymore, though. I think you're already moving on from it. Like, I don't feel you being devastated over this. I feel like you kind of already knew. Like, you kind of already felt this was over. You kind of already had a lot of trust issues with them. You weren't too sure about them. So them coming back around is just kind of the universe giving you confirmation that this was a karmic cycle with this person, that, that cycle is closing out so that you can actually have your true love, so you can have somebody who's not going to betray you and cheat on you or let you down or do whatever this person did. Um, but with the Page of Cups, I feel like after they betray you or whatever this is, they're going to come back around all sweet. So you're, they're coming back a couple times in the course of like a month or two. Like they're either, they've either just come back and they've just left and you're kind of in this Ten of Swords energy and they're about to pop back up and try to pull you back in. It's like this very seductive energy. But it's again, it's the same crap as before it looks like, um, or they haven't come back around yet, but they're going to come back, and then it's going to be the same crap as before, and you guys are kind of kind of distance each other for a little bit, and then they're going to come back again, you know, look at this, this character, it's like he or she is very seductive, they're very lustful, they're very manipulative, they just want what they want when they want it kind of energy, and it's like they hurt you, they betray you again, they do the same crap they used to do, and then they try to pull you back in, and you know, they try to look glamorous. They try to, they could be doing glamour spells on you too. If they're into witchcraft, they might be doing glamour spells. There is that kind of energy to this. Um, but I think you're moving forward. With the chariot, the seven of cups, I think you're moving forward. I don't think you want this anymore. I think, I think you kind of know it's not what you want anymore. I think you just needed that closure. I think if you're questioning, like, why did this person have to come back and hurt me? Why did this have to happen again? I had moved on. I had bettered my life. Why are they coming back around again? It's because the cycle wasn't closed off. I think that you didn't have enough closure with them in the past. And there might have, you might not have been conscious of it, but I think there was some lingering energy there between you two still. And I think to really be able to fully cut and clear them, you had to have them come back around and you had to see that it was going to be the same crap that it used to be to really be able to fully let go of them and release your energy and open your energy up for the right person. You know, this is you making this choice. This, you know, it's dreaming, fantasy. You're in this energy where you're kind of introspective and you're deciding what you need to do to move forward. You're, you're making these decisions for yourself so that this person can't hold you back anymore. I'm sure there might be like a select one or two of you 
where this could actually go somewhere but for the majority of you i don't think it is if this is your story i don't know i don't think that you i don't think it's going to upset you a lot though because i think you already know it i think i'm just telling you things that you already know it's just kind of confirmation like if you ever have those doubts like oh could i have done this or that it's kind of just like saying you know no they they weren't going to change like they weren't changing you saw over and over again they did the same thing to you over and over and over again like you knew they weren't going to change you know what i mean so you're coming to this point where you're going to be moving forward with or without them you know they can get on board or they can go away but you're not going to play this game anymore with them you're not going to be manipulated by them anymore you're not going to let them betray you or cheat on you or do whatever they were doing anymore you know they have to be all in or all out and you're making these choices for yourself so let's see if there's i want to see if there's another energy too because there could be might be a better energy too i feel like it is emotional though i do feel like you might have a history with this person so there is love there and i'm not saying that they don't love you at all like they probably do have love for you but you know someone could be a toxic person and they could have um toxic patterns when it comes to relationships and still love you you know what i mean like them loving you doesn't necessarily mean that they're a good person like they can have love for you and still um still be toxic for you you know but you'll know like i said if this is your story you're gonna know so let me see okay let's look into is there a second energy is there a second is there somebody new coming in so we've got that x is there a new person coming in i think there is and i think i, I probably channeled that because i don't know why i'd be led to to ask that if there wasn't you know is there a new person coming in if there is what can you tell me about them what's going on with that yeah i think it's just i think that you needed to see that it was going to be the same just so you could let them go like you needed to you needed that confirmation you needed that closure because i think some part of you always held space for them and thought you know maybe someday they'll change maybe someday years down the road they'll come back around and now you're like you know what that someday is here and they're they they came back around and it was the same shit that i don't want to go back to again so it's like you needed that so you can free yourself up for a new person for your king of wands somebody who's passionate somebody who's able to match you a little bit more king of wands five of pentacles knight of pentacles Ooh, hello ten of cups could be meeting somebody at work could be a co-worker that's admiring you or it could be a coworker in the future that's going to come forward. Ugh, King of Swords. I feel like the ex might try to come back around again. Ugh. Motherfucker. Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles, lots of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Okay, this is interesting. That's interesting energy. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so this could mean one of, one of three things. I think there might be a few different stories here. So for some of you, a king of wands is going to be helping you out of financial difficulty. Like this could be somebody that you're borrowing money from or somebody that you know at work or just someone that's trying to support you. Um, Maybe someone that's old fashioned that just wants to support you and help you out of this financial difficulty. Um, for others, it's just you focusing on your finances. You've, you're coming out of poverty um, or, you, you know, you're, you're thinking about how you used to be in poverty and you want to make sure you don't go back to that. So you're focusing on your finances. And for others, it's saying that your person um, is kind of focused on finances, that they're focused on their own finances. There's just something about finances here. Um, or I should be more specific. There's something about getting through poverty and getting through um this would be like not saving money or not being able to save money this would be financial struggles or not ha or being like job loss that kind of thing you know somebody is kind of focusing on coming out of this energy and it could be that this king of wands is trying to help you with that is trying to help you come out of this energy that's why i'm kind of wondering if it could be you know with the pentacles it's like it's like work career finances i'm wondering if this could be somebody that you meet at work or if you're looking for a job, maybe it's going to be like a new coworker that you meet. So yeah, I think there are two different men here. I almost wonder if maybe you're going to entertain the ex for a little while out of loneliness. 
So it's like once you reach, however it is that you get to this point where you're more financially stable, it kind of opens things up for you with this 10 of cups. So this is like emotional fulfillment. I think being financially stable gets you to this point where you can open your heart and you can focus on love and dating a little bit more. Like some of that stress is a little is taken off you. And you know, you have this potential there and you have this king of wands. This is somebody who's is passionate. Could be a, a Leo. Um because I see the lions in the background too. So there could be something with lions or could be could be a Leo. Um or just that kind of energy, like this very passionate kind of strong-willed energy. Um, but then I feel like the King of Swords comes back around, and I think that's the X. I think the King of Swords, that's somebody who's kind of harsh, could have even been abusive in some ways, verbally or physically. Could be somebody who's just not in touch with their emotions, not able to give you what you want out of a relationship, whereas this King of Wands is a little bit more they're passionate they're a little bit more emotionally open okay so there could be two different messages here for those of you so for your ex your king of swords for those of if he ever if he or she ever stole money from you in the past or ever um caused financial issues for you stole money borrowed money from you however it played out there's a warning here that they're going to do that again it's like you get financially stable and you have this potential with this new person here and then if the king of swords comes back around and you allow them in again they're gonna mess you up financially again it's like here's your wealth and they're here here they are running away with your wealth running away with this knight of pentacles with this hard work that you've done you know taking you back to square one again if you allow them to so the karmic cycle with this person is over it's just, it's up to you if you really put your foot down and you cut them out for good. If you, you, you wouldn't know if they're toxic. You know what I mean? This wouldn't be somebody that you'd be on the fence about. This would be somebody who was like verbally or mentally um, or physically abusive. This would be somebody who like you know isn't right for you. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be somebody who was like mostly a good person but um, had some trust issues to work on like it's not that kind of energy it's 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 more of a toxic energy with this person it's more of like a hot and cold kind of um like a user or something like that it wouldn't it you would probably know if, it, if it's this person so uh, so yeah if you let them back in again for like the second or third time i feel like it's it's hot and cold with them if you let them in again I do see them running away with your money. Now, this could literally mean if they've stolen money or borrowed money from you in the past, it could literally mean that they do that again and they don't pay you back or they don't give the money back. It could. And if you're if you're hoping, if they owe you money and you're hoping that you're going to get it from them, you're, you're not. I don't think you are. I'm sorry. I don't see that happening. I see them playing games with you and trying to keep the money from you, at least at this point. This could also just mean, it could also be depression. It could be like, you, you, you're in this Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups energy where you're finally financially secure. Things are going better for you. You have this new love potential here with the King of Wands, possibly a coworker. And then if you let this ex back in, it could just be that, that they hurt you again and the, the depression they cause you might lead you to kind of um, be stagnant again when it comes to career and finances. Like maybe you'll spend a lot of money on on psychics or on um, healers or, or people trying to get this man back or you'll spend a lot of money on um, just covering like just fixing their mess whatever mess they leave you know it's it's that kind of energy it's it's like whatever whether they literally steal money or borrow money or whether they just put you in a depressed state to the point where you stop caring as much about finances either way them hurting you and leaving you is going to negatively affect you financially again if you let them back in and again this was a karmic relationship i feel probably could be a soulmate but for a lot of you i feel like it's a karmic and that that cycle is closed they just come back around until like just so you have that closure but it's up to you if you want to hold on to it longer but it's going to be the same hot and cold back and forth energy it's not really going to change i want to look into this king of wands though because i feel like that's a much better energy 
But the King of Wands could also be hesitant too, because if he if he's aware of this ex, he might he or she is aware of this ex. They might be hesitant because of it. Can you tell me about this King of Wands? Like, what is the situation here? What's going on with that? What's going on with the King of Wands? King of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Hmm. Tower. Ten of Swords, the Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting energy. Okay. So that's what I was saying. King of Wands, King of Pentacles. This is somebody who's more financially stable than the exes. This is somebody who could be old-fashioned. I feel like this is somebody that would not borrow money from you ever. This is somebody who would be kind of old-fashioned, like they would want to pay if they took you out to dinner. Or maybe go Dutch, but at the very least, they would never let you pay for anything this is somebody who would like spoil you on your birthday. This is somebody who is more financially stable and secure and more passionate and more just more grounded. They have a much more grounded energy than um, than your king of swords does. Definitely more grounded. I see all the ten here the tens here. This is a ten of pentacles. So there's a lot of completion in your life. You're you're closing out a lot of old cycles right now. 